And we have Wi-Fi. Internet is back up. It went out yesterday for who knows why, who knows why. Nobody knows, nobody knows. But we're good to go now. See you in an hour. And that is that. Oh my goodness, good. It worked. The live stream worked. The internet worked. It, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. All right, shout out again to Europe. We had to change up the live stream time this week because of the Elton John concert last night. And so Europe was able to tune in. Oh my, it was Norway, Germany, uh, Spain. I'm, I, it seemed like every country, Belgium, and I'm Belgian, so special place in my heart for Belgium. Uh, so thank you for being here. I'm so glad everyone in Europe, many of you in Europe were able to tune in and uh, we'll do that again. Listen. Probably can't do two live streams a week, all right? Let's keep it manageable here. But I'm very interested in uh, exploring options for figuring out how can more people be tuning in every week, all right? Huh. I need to figure out how to bi-locate, bi-locate. All right, I'm off to a run. <laughs> Mount Falcon, why did we come here today? Going slow in the snow, working on that suppleness, just nice and easy, strength, uh, footing. And yes, I do a lot of, I think, uh, I'm sorry if I'm making a few of you nervous. Like a couple days ago, I did this on the ice. And listen, it's a legit concern. It's a legit concern. I get it. Uh, you know, you when you're a trail runner, there's higher risk of rolling ankles. And uh, but you know what? Believe it or not, you know what I roll my ankle uh, most often is when I'm actually in the city and I step on something that I just completely don't expect. Whether it's going off a tiny uh, lip of a of a. Uh, I actually did this by my house where the concrete was just slightly raised. You know how the concrete can be a little uneven? I rolled it so bad, probably four or five years ago now. It was a while ago and it, I almost had, I thought I broke my ankle. I had to walk home and uh, so here in the mountains, I rarely do a bad, bad roll. Uh, so anyway, that's why we're here. Suppleness, going slow, going slow in the snow. <laughs> Today in the live stream, we talked about mountain lions and the mountain lion attack that happened in Colorado. Just so you know, it's trees like this where the mountain lions like to hang out. They like to be perched up a little above the ground. Like you will see them on the ground, of course, but a lot of times when you're looking at pictures of mountain lions, they're perched up in trees like that. So as trail runners, just be aware, like, uh, look up, be aware, like look around. Don't, um, don't, uh, <laughs> don't forget the trees is what I'm trying to say. All right, it's freezing. I can't stop long. Uh, quick gear check. Listen, I bought some winter gloves for running this year, but uh, my hands get cold in them. So these are my old L.L. Bean gloves. <clears throat> and guess what? They're crushing it. It's like, these are not expensive. They were probably 15, 20 bucks from the uh, army surplus store. And I just 
love them. So anyway, LL Bean, thank you, appreciate it. All right, time to go back there. That's what the, uh, that's what the mountain lions eat, <laughs> hopefully. Back in the saddle, back in the studio. Okay, I did not get all the shots I wanted up on the mountain because for the first time in 2019, the battery got too cold on the drone and on the GoPro. That was crazy. That hasn't happened yet in 2019. It just was too cold. It was about 15 degrees out Fahrenheit. Oh, what is that Celsius? I don't know, but it was cold. So that's good to know if you live in a cold location and you're interested in filming outside or filming your runs, like, I don't know, that was a little discouraging for like, I can't imagine living in, I don't know, Canada or Maine or Norway and trying to film outside a lot without the GoPro or the DJI batteries freezing up. Okay, I'm in a slightly different attire now because I am off to filming. I will I will be back in about three hours and we will continue, continue the discussion. Let's roll. There we go. There we go, YouTube. Woo, it's now 10 p.m. wrapping it up. Wrapping it up in the studio with some hot tea and yes, an invitation to all of you. Here we are on YouTube sharing videos, hopefully bringing some hope and inspiration to some of you about running and maybe even life in general. Uh, some good information, some solid uh, opinions on all these different topics within life, but especially niching down to the running world. We are approaching three years now of daily uploading to this channel and shout out to all the long-term viewers. You know who you are, who have been here uh, for so long through thick and thin, through times when I just like wanted to throw the towel in, but you're still here and I appreciate you and I have not forgotten about you. Just so you know, just so you know. But at the same time, it's exciting and brings me a lot of great joy and energy to find uh, this running YouTube community on the intrawebs. It happened about four months ago, just so you know. And I am humbled and blown away by the continued growth and most importantly, the engagement that is happening on this channel, most especially through the question of the day down in the comments through Instagram, through Snapchat, through Twitter. It's happening, frankly, everywhere, everywhere. So thank you. At the same time, I also realized that I am one person with one opinion and one perspective on life and running. Uh, and therefore, <laughs> because I monitor all the comments, I look at all of them, I read them. I can't always reply to all of them, but I do read all of them. Uh, I know that there are literally uh, dozens, I'll just say dozens for now, not hundreds, but dozens of cultures represented on this channel. Meaning, all around the world, people all around the world in different countries are watching these daily vlogs. And so because of all of these incredible uh, cultures and perspectives represented on this channel, and that's why we called the Strava Running Group more Global Running because I realized, oh my goodness, we are global right now. Like this is happening right now around the world. I want to invite you to, yes, send me videos that I can include in the daily vlogs. And this is how it's gonna work. If you have a DSLR camera or even a good solid smartphone, where you can record video that has good audio, and we'll talk about that in a minute. I will, if it fits that day's topic, I will include that video in the vlog. But here's, here's the catch. I have a pretty high standard when it comes to quality of video and quality of content, meaning that the messaging is bringing value to the audience, meaning you out there. So for example, 
I would love to, when I give my opinion on the Solomon Speed Cross 5s or the Nike Vaporfly 4% Fly Knits or the Saucony Fast Twitch 8s or the New Balance Beacons, I would love, I would love to include a 30 second to a minute, no more than a minute, but a 30 to 60 second clip from you out there giving your opinion on these different running shoes, okay? So, if you are out there and you own these running shoes, film yourself talking. It can't be too lengthy. I apologize because it'll just make the vlogs way too long. But if you could record yourself talking about your opinion on the Solomon Speedcross 5s, that would be amazing. Or your opinion on the uh, Nike Pegasus 35 Turbos, that would be amazing. And I will over time, if the quality is high enough and it just fits the overall storyline of that day's vlog, I will include it. Does that sound good? So how do you send me your video files? My email, my email is down below this video in the description, okay? I don't always post it, but I'm ready for it now where you can email me through Google Drive or Dropbox these video files. Okay, there's other ways to send me files as well, but that's probably the two easiest. Dropbox or Google Drive, send me the file and I will save it in the archive. And again, if it fits into these videos, boom, there we go. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. And yes, if you could include your first name, maybe the city or the country that you live in in the video, and then also signing off with seek beauty, work hard, and love each other, that would be pretty amazing as well. All right. That is the invitation I want to give to all the runners out there watching these videos, watching these vlogs. And listen, it's all about bringing more value to this YouTube family, all right? I'm one voice, I'm one perspective, I have one opinion, and um, I am excited to, yes, like if you, you might have an opinion about any running shoe that I frankly have never thought of, whether it, you know, it's, we could go on and on, like, and so I really do think you could bring value to this family. I hope all that made sense. If you have any questions about sending files or what I'm looking for exactly, again, my email is down below or just ask in the comments below. And that keyword is invitation because yes, I'm making that invitation to all of you out there. And the question of the day, it's a two-way street. How can I bring you more value or how could you bring more value to this YouTube community, this YouTube family? Maybe you have a hidden talent out there. For example, if you're someone who's an expert at live streaming, we got to talk. We got to talk, even though it worked today. But maybe, um, maybe you have a hidden talent that we don't know about and you're like, wait, I think I could bring some overall perspective, uh, thought, you know, thought process and value to this running YouTube family. All right. And listen, if it, listen, like if there's nothing you can think of, that's okay too. But again, maybe, maybe you have an idea for me as to how I could bring all of us a little more value. All right. I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. What a day. Again, live stream upper right hand corner. I think you'll enjoy it. It was a good one. Shout out again to Europe. Seek beauty. Work hard and the mountain lions, I guess. Whew. We did good today. You didn't see any mountain lions today. And love each other. See you tomorrow. Mm.